I am really excited to share a painting with you for devotions this morning. And the painting that I chose to share has been really important to me recently. But before I go into anything or tell you my own opinions about the artwork, I want you to take some time to look at it and observe it for yourself. So if you've never looked at a painting before, or know where to start when looking at a painting, um, I would like you to pay attention first to what you see. So what kind of items do you see? What's going on in this picture? And then secondly, you can start to think about what could this artwork mean? So here's a picture and your time starts now. So the painting that I just shared with you is called Hope by George Frederick Watts. And as I'm telling you the title, I can hear you all saying, Miss Allie, this painting looks anything but hopeful. In fact, it looks quite sad and very lonely. And I would respond, you're right. I feel the same way. But what I really like about this painting is that it's honest. Because I think we tend to live in a culture that assumes everything will be better as soon as we become hopeful. Or everything will be all okay as long as we keep going and persevere. Smangat ya. But in truth, the act of being hopeful doesn't always take us away from this place. And I think that's what's something that's so beautiful about this painting. Because it depicts this. It depicts hope as being something so much bigger and more beautiful than our own ability to persevere. And we see this in this lonely, desperate figure who's barely making it. And I think that's one of the reasons why I connect with it so much. Because I do feel this way a lot right now, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. It gets even more desperate the more we look at it, because she's holding an instrument with only one string. Yes, you're right, there is one more string for those of you who are very observant, but it's broken and she's blindfolded. But in this imagery, I see hope because while she cannot see with her physical eyes, I see her seeing with the eyes of her heart and bending over to hear a song that is very faint song of hope. When I look at this painting, I hear a whisper saying, what is will not always be. Again, it's not what is will not always be because I'm going to make it through the situation and I'm going to persevere by myself. It's knowledge and God's unshakable commitment to us. That he is a God who keeps his promises and that what he says has come to pass and is still being fulfilled. It's knowledge to me that as an artist, while I still lose interest in creating an artwork halfway through um, a project or painting, God is committed to what he has started and he will see it to completion. Thus, the what is will not always be is from the perspective of God's story. That while I may not know why certain things are happening in the world around me, God has already defeated death and is inviting us into communion with him. And so I look at this painting in view of eternity, knowing that no matter what the future holds, the future will someday be bright because the victory has been won. 